Does your game always feel laggy online? Like your shots are just a little delayed or you're rubber banding even though your internet speed looks fine? That's because Windows doesn't ship optimized for gaming packets. By default, your PC is tuned for bulk transfers, downloads, streaming, background tasks, not the low latency TCP UDP traffic that competitive games rely on. Today, we're going beyond TCP Optimizer, not just flipping presets, but diving into hidden registry flags, advanced VMD commands, and UDP tweaks that stabilize your connection, cut packet loss, and make online gaming feel buttery smooth. If you want lower ping, consistency, and fewer random lag spikes, this is the guide you've been waiting for. Let's go step by step. Step 1. Safe Download and Baseline TCP Optimizer Setup before diving into deep registry or driver level tweaks, we start with a safe, universal baseline using TCP Optimizer. This utility is lightweight, portable, and specifically designed to expose hidden Windows networking parameters that directly impact latency, throughput, and packet handling. Go to the official speedguide.net website. Never grab this tool from third-party forms or mirrors. Lots of fakes exist. Download the standalone EXE version. Avoid the installer version. The standalone EXE is portable, leaves no bloat, and can run from anywhere, even a USB stick. Run with admin rights. Right-click tcpoptimizer.exe. Select Run as Administrator. Without admin rights, the tool won't be able to apply registry level changes or adjust hidden adapter properties. Set the baseline. Inside TCP Optimizer, connection speed slider, drag all the way to maximum. This doesn't throttle your bandwidth. It simply scales buffer sizes and receive windows properly for modern hardware and high-speed ISPs. Network adapter selection. Pick your active adapter, Ethernet if you game wired, Wi-Fi only if you have no choice. Check Modify All Network Adapters so every NIC gets optimized. At the bottom, select Optimal Radio button, click Apply Changes, reboot now or later when prompted. Why this matters? The Optimal preset is not just about max speed. It reconfigures Windows TCP IP stack with better congestion control algorithms, larger TCP receive windows, and optimized buffer sizes. Step 2. Optimize MTU and packet fragmentation. Most gamers assume lag equals high ping. In reality, many spikes come from bad MTU configuration. MTU, or Maximum Transmission Unit, is the max size your system can send in one packet without it being split or fragmented. If your PC sends packets larger than your router or ISP path can handle, they get fragmented mid-transit, adding extra processing, reassembly delay, and random micro-stutters in games. Find your true MTU with TCP Optimizer. Open TCP Optimizer, switch to the MTU Latency tab, click Largest MTU. The tool will automatically ping with progressively smaller packets until it finds the largest non-fragmenting packet size. Enter that MTU value back into the General Settings tab, MTU Box. Example, many fiber or DSL users end up with 1492 instead of the default 1500. Double check manually via CMD. Sometimes routers or ISPs behave differently than TCP optimizers test. Let's verify manually. Open CMD as admin. Run ping google.com-f-l 1492. Dash F equals don't fragment dash L equals packet size. If you see reply from, success, no fragmentation. Packet needs to be fragmented, too large. Lower the size by 10 until you stop seeing fragmentation. Once stable, add 28 to account for headers.
Example, if 1472 works, 1472 plus 28 equals 1500 MTU. Apply and lock it. Set this MTU in TCP Optimizer General Settings. Also confirm your router's MTU matches. Mismatched PC versus router MTU can still cause fragmentation. Why this matters? Prevents mid-path packet fragmentation, hidden cause of lag spikes. Improves consistency in burst data, like gunfire packets or server sync events in shooters. Reduces overhead per packet, lower CPU usage on NIC drivers, create smoother, more predictable latency in real-time gaming. Step 3. Advanced Registry Tweaks for TCP and UDP This is where we push beyond default Windows networking. Out of the box, Windows prioritizes throughput and efficiency. Good for downloads, bad for gaming. We'll flip those priorities towards responsiveness and real-time packet flow, which is what competitive gaming needs. Core TCP Registry Edits Open RegEdit, Windows plus R to RegEdit, and navigate to Create or modify these DWORD 32-bit values. TCP ACT Frequency equals 1. Forces acknowledgments for TCP packets instantly instead of batching. Impact reduces input lag in games using TCP like some matchmaking or auth servers in CS2, Valorant, Apex, TCP no delay equals 1, disables Nagel's algorithm. Normally, Windows groups small packets into bigger chunks to save bandwidth, but that adds delay. This tweak forces instant send. TCP delac ticks equals 0, reduces the timer Windows waits before sending ACKs, Eliminates micro delays in TCP based communications. Default TTL equals 64. Sets a standardized time to live for packets, prevents odd routing or inconsistencies caused by bloated TTL values. Useful for stability across ISPs. UDP handling, critical for gaming. Most modern shooters, Valorant, Apex, Fortnite, Warzone, CS2, rely on UDP for real-time packet delivery. Let's tune that too. Navigate to Add these D words. Fast send datagram threshold equals zero. Forces UDP packets to be sent instantly, skipping Windows small buffer delay. Impact, cleaner hit reg, less chance of packet queuing, smoother netcode responsiveness. Apply and test. After creating or modifying the values, restart your PC. Test your favorite online game. You should feel faster weapon registration, shots connect quicker, lower delay between input and server response, more consistent netcode in chaotic fights, like less random stutter. Step 4. CMD Level Stack and Scheduling Tweaks Now we'll clean up Windows TCP IP stack using CMD commands. Open CMD as admin and enter these commands. Explanation. Auto-tuning disabled stops Windows from learning buffer sizes mid-game. That can cause lag spikes. ECN disabled. Explicit congestion notification is great for enterprise, bad for gaming latency. RSS enabled. Receive side scaling lets multiple CPU cores process packets in parallel. RSC disabled. Receive segment coalescing batches packets, off for lower latency. Task offload disabled. Stops the NIC from offloading work in weird bursts. Together, these commands make packet scheduling consistent and latency first, instead of throughput first. Step 5. NIC specific driver settings. Hidden device manager fixes. Last step. Stop your network card from sabotaging your low latency packets. Open Device Manager, Aero Network Adapters, Your NIC, Properties, Advanced tab. Set these. Interrupt Moderation, Disabled. Receive Side Coalescing, Disabled. Large Send Offload, IPv4 slash IPv6, Disabled. Checksum Offload, both 
TCP and UDP, disabled. Energy efficient Ethernet, disabled. Still in Device Manager, go to Power Management tab. Uncheck, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Why? These hidden settings are designed for efficiency, not gaming. They add buffering, batching, and sleep modes that cause packet delay. Turning them off equals raw, instant packet flow. And that's the complete Next Level TCP plus UDP Optimization Guide. We started with TCP Optimizer for a safe baseline, then dialed in MTU to prevent packet fragmentation, layered in hidden registry edits for instant ACKs and UDP datagram priority, applied CMD commands to force windows into latency-first scheduling, and finally, stripped down your NIC driver settings so every packet gets delivered with zero hesitation. If you play competitive games, this is the difference between feeling laggy but playable and having your inputs register instantly. Test your ping stability with tools like PingPlotter or in-game netgraphs, and let me know how much smoother your connection feels. If this helped you, smash like, subscribe, and share it with that one friend who's always blaming his ISP for lag. I'll see you in the next one.